Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit the APN settings manually when the phone doesn't allow you to do so. Check this out. Access point name settings are not available for this user. You can't add new APNs, you can't delete once, you can't do basically nothing. So in my particular case, I'm on the Volphone UK network and this is the Sharp Aquas R, originally on the Japanese SoftBank network. The phone has been already SIM unlocked, but I cannot access the internet settings simply because it's limited by the software itself but I'm going to show you how to actually override that. Now if you go to the internet they suggest two things either click the plus sign which is missing over here in order to add a new IPN settings or click the three dots over here and just add them from here but the only option you've got is a reset to default and that doesn't solve the problem. Even factory reset um, you know, restart of the phone, Wi-Fi on and off, it doesn't make any difference. And you might think, well, why don't you just, you know, text your carrier so they're going to show you uh, the automatic settings. That doesn't work as well. Check this out. If text is full phone and they said to continue using data, blah, 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 you need to update your settings manually. Now, this is the problem, guys. How you're supposed to do that when there is absolutely no way. There's nothing you can do over here. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. But first, make sure you go to network and internet. And when you go to mobile networks over here, make sure the 4G is on. Also, when you go back to data usage, make sure mobile data is on on as well guys so go to the play store and install novel launcher pay for the prime don't be stingy so <laughs> install novel launcher switch it on you have to create this shortcut guys which is an alternative menu to the apns in order to create it just hold on the screen like that go to widgets activities hold on place it over here and then search for settings i'm going to show you where it is in a sec so settings and after that you have to find this particular setting over here apns just click on apns over here and you've just created the setting menu over here guys when you click on it voila check this out the plus sign magically appears so you just click on the plus sign over here and input your specific carrier settings now in case of the vodafone uk the settings that they're suggesting officially on their website were actually wrong i have to go deep in their website check for lg g6 which basically has nothing to do with this phone but anyway for the lg g6 the settings were a little bit different but they worked guys so let me put them in quickly and let me show you what the rest of the procedure is Okay guys, I've just finished setting up the network, which is specific for my network. For your particular network, you're gonna have to phone up your carrier or just search for LG G6 settings in the case of the Sharp phones. If you have a different brand, uh, just ask your carrier what the settings are. But for Vodafone UK, check this out. Name, it doesn't really matter what are you going to put. APN is wap.volfone.co.uk, proxy none, port, none username is wap password is the same wap as well server not set now over here not set not set mcc and mnc this is your network identifying uh numbers that is letting the phone know which carrier does the sim card belong to so this is the volphone specific one authentication type none apn time i just have to type this manually default over here and check this out better unspecified and over here now these are the volphone uk settings and now when you go over here on the three dots and you put save nothing is going to happen over here guys but don't worry go back to your home screen and basically close absolutely everything if you have to reboot your phone and now go back to settings make sure when you go to the data connection over here You've got it on mobile data is on it doesn't matter if the wi-fi is on as well now go to mobile networks 4g is on and now go to access point names and voila check this out guys you've got the settings over here up and running you still don't have the plus sign but anyway you have the settings up and running and check this out i'm going to switch off my internet over here and let's see what's going to happen 3g We've got 3G connectivity now. Let's test it out quickly. Let's just go to this site over here. And there you go. Phone database. This is the Sharp that I'm having right now. Akus R605SH. 
So basically that's how you're sorting your problem. But keep in mind every time you switch your SIM card the settings will be different so make sure you contact your specific area and ask him for the settings is different for every single network in the world guys so I can't really tell you what it is except for the Vodafone UK. Now I've looked over the internet a ton of devices have similar problems so this is the only solution and unfortunately they're limiting their software is not to you know tinker around the settings but fortunately I managed to figure this out myself after not being able to find the correct answer online. So yeah thank you very much for watching guys and see you in the next tutorial. Adiós.